Welcome everyone to the Brickitech studio. As always, if you're watching this, I hope you're having a glorious day today. This is gonna be a haul video on what I have in this box right here. It's actually a follow-up on a video that I did a little bit earlier this week. I think it was Monday morning. I came down to the studio first thing and I did a little bit of shopping on shop.lego.com. I took you along with me and my goal on there was to try to find a way to spend $99, as hard as that seems on Lego, not really. My goal was to spend $99 so I could get that awesome little promo they're doing, which is the 40th anniversary Lego train because it's just so awesome. I think I think it's one of the best promos that they've done in a very long time and I had to be a part of that. So I was looking around on there, if you didn't see the video, I was looking and trying to figure out what I should do. One option was to get the Razor Crest or pre-order the Razor Quest, Razor Crest, the Razor Quest, which is coming out in September or starting to ship in September according to Lego. And I was gonna do that in order to get the train now, but apparently I didn't take that route. So spoiler alert, it's not in here. I didn't take that route because apparently they don't give you the promo until your item ships. At least that's what you guys are telling me. So I was like, nah, can't do that. My other option was to get the Fiat 500 and some other little things as well I was speculating on. And I might have just done that, but we'll find out. We open this box right here. Change of perspective here. We're going first person with my box, everything all blacked out on top there. So you crazies can't find me, hopefully. And we're going to crack into this box ever so slightly, ever so gently. Not really. We're just going to go right across there with the original Brick unboxing knife. Still going strong. Lots of Lots of stories with this one, but bigger story is what's inside here. And I think we're gonna do this in proper order. And luckily it's gonna work out really well because the first thing, don't look. The first thing is the thing that I was going for here, which is a Lego set 40370. This is the 40th anniversary train. I love this. I love the minifig with this. I love the train. I love the display. To me, this is just so playable, so displayable Lego. I know I tell you this all the time, but these are the promos that we want. I mean, sure, some people probably like their picnic blankets. They like erasers and pencils. They like towels. I mean, that kind of stuff is fun and all, but what we all really want are buildable sets. And I think this is fantastic. And I'm so happy to have this, but you're probably wondering, well, Greg, what was it that you actually ordered in order to get this? Again, this is, you had to spend $99 to snag this. And even though I don't have a ton of Lego trains, most of them, are from Pops, the ones that he sent us. And I bought a couple more modern ones. I don't have anything quite this old or, you know, 40 years old or whatever, but you can still appreciate this even if you don't have that stuff. And I am stoked to build this. This is not going in the backlog, by the way. You're gonna see this built before this, you see the thing that I'm about to pull out of here built because I've got a, I've got some things to get through. Let's, uh, let's show you the, let's show you the small thing. I was debating on what I should do here in terms of, well, shoot. Now this isn't going to work. Let's show you the big thing first. All right, you probably guessed it. Got myself the Lego Creator Fiat 500. 10271 Fiat 500. 960 pieces, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling some things that are not so good here. I'm not feeling so good about this uh, crease right here and over here. But box lives, even though they matter, I'm trying to get over that. Holding this thing out as far as I possibly can. But this set, I, some people are hating on it. I don't know why I love these... Lego Crater vehicles. In fact, I'm gonna take you on a brief tour here. I'm gonna take you over to my little shelf here. I've got a bit of a display. This is not a permanent display by any means, but I'm just trying to get stuff off the floor. This is my history with these Lego Crater vehicles that I absolutely love. So from left to right, we've got the Lego Mini Cooper. You didn't think this was gonna be a tour, did you? You thought it was just gonna be a haul. We got the Mini Cooper. I love this build, had fun building that live. This one I built in the woods. This is the the Volkswagen camper van, and this thing's, it's so cool, this pops up. I mean, there's just, there's awesomeness happening here. This is probably my favorite one. This is the Volkswagen Beetle, of course. You got no engine in there. You got a, you got a surfboard, you got the cooler up here. The Mustang looks great. I have it in its stock configuration right now. And um, yeah, it's just it's just a bunch of gorgeous sets. I don't, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I got flipped around, but that's okay. This is just kind of like what I've going on. So these are the, this is what I have so far. And this of course is my newest edition. I said in my shopping video that I wouldn't necessarily go to Lego and be like, you know what we really need? We need a Fiat 500. Now I probably wouldn't have done that, but it is a cute car. And I love this little extra stuff that comes with it. You got the easel over here. That unfortunately is a sticker. That's not a printed piece. You got paints, you got a paintbrush that's resting on there. And I bet you could probably fit this inside the car. If anything, you put it in through the sunroof because if you look up here, that kind of rolls back. So you can put the easel in there. It might even fit in. I haven't watched any reviews on this. I haven't seen anything on it. The engine's in the back though, apparently. 
the tires in the front. I think it has a lot of character. I think this is great. Again, this is for people with particular taste. I like these vehicles. I like to build these. I love Lego Crater. And for $90, I felt like this is a win. It's definitely, it falls into the piece count there for you piece nerds out there. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this purchase. And that was $90 well spent towards my train. But what else did you get, Greg? What else did you get you're wondering? Well, I did something that was somewhat unex... Uh, did you guys see my name on there? Hopefully not. I did something that was somewhat unexpected. I got our Easter set, and this wasn't even the Easter set you probably think that I was going to get. You probably thought I was going to get the Brickhead, but no, I got this little Easter Bunny house type thing. It comes with a moped. It's got the Easter Bunny. It's got a chicken coop, real-life chicken coop, just like we have outside here. And this, I thought, was really cute. I think Clark will have fun building this. I like getting a minifig and having all that stuff, more so than a Brickhead personally. Maybe he would have liked the Brickhead, but... I don't know. I just think this has a lot of character, and I thought that was nice. Unfortunately, though, this was $90, and I think this was like $7.99 maybe, so that puts us a little bit under. What I did is I ended up getting the extra pack of dots, and maybe I can show you a picture of those somewhere here on my computer if you don't know what they are. Train's still available if you guys want it, but here we are on LEGO's website looking at the dots, and it's hilarious to me that all these are on back order. Like, I was going to trash dots initially when they came out, but apparently people like them and they're, they're all sold out. But what I got was this extra pack here. And I come to find out that these are actually kind of like mystery bags or whatever. They come like this, but you can kind of see inside of them supposedly. And they're not all the same, but it kind of sold me on all these little musical notes and all these little circular tiles. I think they're cool. And for $3.99, that was worth it for me to, to snag them. Plus it put me at the level where with this... And this together, it got me this. So that was, I think, worth it. And that's what I got. Unfortunately, when I did order these, this was the only thing that was on back order when I ordered. So the Dots Extra Pack is actually more popular than any of the other Dot stuff there is. I almost got the pineapple. That's what I was leaning towards. But I knew Easter was coming, and I didn't know if I'd be making another order or not. So this is going to be our little Easter build. Only a couple pieces, but it's like a poly bag. It's fun. Clark will enjoy that. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm definitely going to enjoy this. And like I said, you're going to end up seeing this before you see that because my next big build, well, I'm still working on the treehouse and I still need to build Apocalypseburg, which is down here. But I need to build this right here because I'm building this for a Patreon detector and I'm going to be giving this away when I'm finished building it. I'm literally going to build this up, have that experience, share it with you guys. And then I'm going to tear it all apart and send it out to one of my Patreon detectors. It seems like a better time than ever to say if you want to join us on Patreon for exclusive Brickatech content that you can't find anywhere else while also helping out the channel, the link is down below. We'd love to have you over there. Join us in the streams. Join us in the chat. Join us everywhere we are. But that's going to be going to a Patreon detector. And I almost decided or I, almost, I was debating whether I should just buy an extra one of these because I think this is a set that I'm going to want to have in my collection. And it's going to be really weird, like just, just letting this go. It's going to be really weird, but it, it's, it, this is an experiment. This is the first month I'm doing this, and that's for the highest tier of Patreon detectors. I build a set and send it out to you. His choice. He chose that. So I already had it on hand, but yeah, now we have the Fiat too. That's going to be going in the back room and this and this and this and just so much going on here. But I'm excited about sharing this journey with you guys. I'm excited to build all this stuff. It's eventually going to happen one of these days. But uh, yeah, on that, thank you guys for attending my haul here, which sounds weird, but yeah, just having fun. Clarkman is down for a nap right now, so I missed out on this one. But I will show this to him when he gets up, and he's going to be, I'm sure, pumped on this right here. This I'm going to hide, because the Easter Bunny, I think, is going to bring this one. All right, that's definitely it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, next video. If any of you fine folks are still sticking with me here, if you want to watch another amazing Brickatech content that's popping up on the screen right now, I'm sure you'll find something there that you like. There's four videos on the screen. You can't have watched them all, unless you're very serious. And if you did, leave a like in this video, because you are... One of the hardcore of the hardcore brick detectors. We're excited about this. Can't wait to build it. And of course, can't wait to build this one as well.